Take care, Raheem. I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. <laughs> don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right. What does he want? Come to make a deal. <laughs> what kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time, and that is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. Left! <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some fantasy. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Ryze can communicate with outposts at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Ryze. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire.
I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. <laughs> <laughs> on. Good. Now head up to the top. Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck. I was afraid of that. All right. Head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Hey, Kareem. What do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower. The fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be a Probably his son, Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. What the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> You don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. Dad, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So we
sure hope this fucking climb was worth it. Still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. All right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. How much this time? A car lot, as usual. Ah, my friend. Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? You hear the drawer? here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. 
Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, crane out. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rise sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off! I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay! Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect the tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge, bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody. Just fucking zombies. All right. You'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Garson. Yes? Who, who goes there? I'm here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Oh my god. That's one of Rice's men. What do I do? Just tell him to go away. Do it nice and leave he'll leave us alone. Better yet, send it to Gersel. He'll know what to do. Please, we don't know anything. Go, talk to Gersel. He lives about the store. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You'll draw the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. Are you Gersel? Oh, you were for Rise. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more Firkin tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Firkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Firkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us! Kick his ass, Firkin! Give me a break, Isla! Alright, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go, at the ferry station on the old pier.
I don't know, about halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Uh, why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Yeah, something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. And don't damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes put together. Holy shit! Holy shit! Not yet, wait a sec. Okay, I got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Hey, you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna! Do you see me? I'm up here! I need your help! Blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Give them a hand and you will take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you can do a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, 
the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesin. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. Your people need the Antezine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to... Uh, break. What? No! No, forget it, I'm not doing it! I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Come and see me when you get back. I've got something for you. So, how did it go? <sighs> I think you know. What can I say, kid? You're lucky to be alive. He really must like you. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's my biggest fan. He didn't put a bullet in your head. He didn't throw you to the biters. He let you walk out of here alive. Maybe he figures he might still use you for something. Or maybe he's just thinking up a creative way to torture you to death. He does that sometimes. Watch your back, kid. Ah, shit. here. Report. Look, I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. Heads up, everyone. This is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisense did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... he's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth! Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that Anderson. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. 
What happened here, it's so very sad. This is where we get the announcements about the Antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. They will catch us! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running. Wait, that was you? Bracken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa. H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, alright? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout from the volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives. Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. Make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my. Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Okay, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the Antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Vice's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some Antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. <laughs> 